Hello everyone, welcome to the Active Directory User Management course project and you should see a project now for this course so when you go to the course, course continue and we added our project it's the same way that we did in our old portal system so basically you'll go to project Active Directory and we'll click on that and you will see some information it's really important to follow the information and see what we're asking because if it's not the same then it might re get rejected so the first thing is must you have to have a membership plus membership so you can click on it and get the membership if you want the certificate or badge um, open free Microsoft lab create user computer and group uh, basically it tells you to go to this link when you click on it it will open the link so you, when we click on that let's see and then it will ask you to sign in with Microsoft account so you do need that we're gonna click on launch lab and this is where you will see the lab will uh, be loading up so um, if for example you don't see this you can also use another Microsoft free lab to get this project done it doesn't matter as long as the server have a domain controller meaning it has active directory installed in that server because you're not actually joining anything is just that you know how to add a user computer and group and this is something that you learn uh, right here so make sure you guys read uh, go through the videos how to add a user how to add a computer how to add a group and you should be good to go to send the screenshot you need to send it to the support at jobscleshare.org this is important step uh, but you have to follow your th this video first because there's a format that you have to send the screenshot so if you go back your uh, server is up and running so you'll see machines right here you don't have to follow all this this is Microsoft lab um, and uh, as you guys can see there's a huge number of hours uh, to do playing around if you guys want to play around with this lab or any other labs uh, it's free eight hours you can learn a lot of things but for this lab you need to go to domain controller here once you're in the domain controller uh, um, you guys can basically let me see if I can make it small here so you guys will see on the bottom server manager you'll click on that and in server manager you'll see the tools in tools you'll go to active directory users and computers this is where you will be adding um, the, the username the computer and the group so if you right click you can add the group now I'm not going to show you how to add all this this is something that you have to do in this project but let me just do that and see what type of screenshot that we are looking for alright so this is what we are looking for your first name initial which is going to be whatever it's on your um, profile it has to match that first name and if, if you have some like different name that just it's not like a name it's like some type of uh, super main type names please change that to a real name because that's going to be on your certificate so you need to change that and your initials going to be this and your last name on the profile and then 1w8 or you can even use 1w7 it's up to you but this has to be the same and then in the search basically when you do your search it should show up a group because uh, now I know that you know how to add a group and I know how to uh, I know that you guys know how to add a user to this active directory and all you have to do is whatever screenshot tools you're using I'm using a snipping tool that comes with Windows so if you go to Windows and you just search, you will you'll see a snipping tool. When you open that snipping tool, uh, its name is right here, S-N-I-P-P-I-N-G. Just search that, open it, click on New, and then basically you drag this and right control, save as. And then here you can basically save this, uh, this name to whatever you want to name it and send it to our email. So when you send it to our, in our email, uh, we will look at it and make sure that this matches one two three so if all this is the same format and then we see everything we'll just give you the grade and you will issue the certificate to you so that's how we will check and make sure you do follow this because if you don't we will definitely reject it thank you for watching this and see you guys in a different video